Mike, are you going to use huh? the plunger? I'm going to use the plunger. Um, Tara, I've got to say that after doing, when we went to commercial break and you didn't see me any longer, uh, everyone here is like, you can't stop there. Keep doing the wheelbarrow for another 60 seconds. Jess over there, I'm just going to point her out there. She looks cute and innocent. She's a slave driver. She, yeah, she was yelling at me to work the abs and clench this and clench that. I can feel it already from the wheelbarrow, and I'm not done yet. Kim, you're going to teach me how to do the elevator lunge, and that's I have right. a plunger standing by. This is yes, but that's cool. going to help you for balance. Okay. Just give you a little more stability in those early days when you're new to this. It's okay. good to have it. Okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to keep your left foot actually on that front platform. Yep. Left foot goes onto that two, three, four line with the heel lifted. You're going to send Ooh. that carriage out nice and slow with that right leg. So holding onto the plunger. Plunger Holding onto the plunger for balance, that's right. Send it out nice okay. and slow till you get into a lunge position. That's it. You want to maintain a bend in that left leg and the Whoa. left knee. Yeah. And then pushing through the heel of the left foot, come back up, bringing that carriage in, but not all the way. That's okay, like it. That. And then bring it back out. Now, I noticed no one else. He's using a plunger. Well, they've done this a few <laughs> times, so I guess they feel a little more stable than you do. Okay, I'm going to try once without the plunger. How's that? Okay, give it a try. All right. So really plunger send free. it way out. Down. Keep Tell that. me when to stop. Okay, that's good. Uh, and then nice and slow, bring it back in. And you're going to maintain a slight bend in that left leg the entire time because we want that muscle contracting the whole time. Yo. You've got it. Nice work. Wow. That, you can once again really feel that. I can imagine doing that for 90 seconds. You'll be walking funny out of here. You'll be vibrating. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to steal the mic from you because I want to introduce everyone to Carrie over here. Carrie, I'm going to get you off the mega former. You've been coming to Legree YYC from the beginning for the last couple of weeks. After that first class, when you walked out of here after 45 minutes, I've got to ask, because I've done this just once and I can already feel it. How are you feeling? I already felt my abs before I even walked out the door. Day one, brutal. Day two after, torture. Now, I can only imagine after walking out after the class, you know, how you felt. The next day must have been even more intense. So intense. Hard to do stairs, hard to walk up and down the stairs, and hard you, to get in and out of the car. And yet you keep coming back. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And you have some knee issues. Yes. And how is that for your joints? Really good because I think it's really slow movements. So I haven't had any pain whatsoever. And I should say too, I actually have a, a knee issue as well that I've been dealing with for the last couple of years. And it's actually feeling pretty good even with those elevator lunges. Um, but I don't exactly know what they have planned here at Legree YYC for the next one. <laughs> I mean, hey, we've used plungers. We've got special socks with toes. Who knows what they have in store for me next, Tara? Something new and interesting, that's for sure. More Legree coming up. 